Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about the theorem of uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. So, the theorem states that if you build any triangle ABC, no matter how it's, it's realized, um, you can build three equilateral triangles uh, like this, based on each of the sides. So, first side AC, you will build a tri um, an equilateral uh, triangle with a point Y and same with all other sides and the theorem the theorem states that uh, if you take each of the centers of gravity um, they form an equilateral uh, triangle so um, this uh, this proof is organized around uh, three parts I'm going first to talk about um, what makes a triangle equilateral in uh, the complex plan. Then I'm going to talk about uh, triangles, so building uh, the first part, uh, the first part where you build three equil equilateral triangles around a first triangle. And then I'm going to talk about the, 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 um, the centers of gravity and uh, conclude. Okay, so at first, I'm going to uh, imagine an, an equilateral triangle. So may U, V, and double V uh, be three po points represented by uh, complex numbers. In, so in the complex plan, where the the complex um, the the imaginary part is an axis and the real part is an axis as well. Um, so we want to get uh, the equi um, we we assume that uh, it's equilateral in the direct sense. So if you apply a rotation of angle pi over three and of center of v to uh, the the point double v, you should get u because it's a triangle. It's a, an equilateral triangle, so it's a property. So you get that u minus v equals to this thingy that is a rotation. Uh, to um, double v minus v. So um, for further, I'm going to um, write it. I, f I forgot to write it. So apply a rotation of angle uh, theta uh, of center uh, whatever uh, d uh, to a. Uh, means b, so that would be um, so u so b b minus the center so uh, d because of the center so the the the, the complex vector that uh, that represents the the, the, the vector uh, between between uh, uh, u and v and here uh, b and d is equal to the rotation of angle theta um, of the vector um, uh, double v to v so here um, it's uh, a to d uh, is it coherent? yes so we uh, apply this um, I call J the the number um, uh, exponential i pi uh, i two pi over three that I uh, talked about in another that uh, I um, I have um, uh, covered in another video about complex uh, complex numbers. So uh, I call it like that. And we notice that minus j squared equals to exponential i pi on three, and which is good because that's what we want. So um, I I um, just replace in that formula by minus j squared. Um, we know that uh, u is the image of double v by rotation of center v by uh, oops, what by rotation uh, of angle uh, pi pi over 3 and of center v. Um, 
so we apply the same thing again oops we apply the same thing um, we apply the same thing yes um, and before well I should have done that right after so uh, I apply the the no it's not like this hold on hold on hold on sorry uh, I'm going to place it here yeah it's better okay so let me recap so we've got this by replacing by minus j squared uh, this is a formula that I um, took uh, um, I covered in another, another video 1 plus j plus j squared equal 0 so minus j squared equal 1 plus j so I replace it in here so we get uh, 1 plus j times double v minus v so we get double v minus v plus j double v minus uh, j the, uh, my j v uh, so as the same thing we've done before u is the image of double v by rotation of angle pi on 3 and of center v so we get the same thing here so it's, it's the same met method uh, no actually uh, this is related to yeah because actually I used this property to find this one it's not the same no it is the same um, I used it after maybe yeah I think I used it after I used it uh, for to find um, oh this one JV, JV, U minus U. Um, hold on, I'm going to do that and just see what I get. So, um, B is U minus. Um, D, D uh, is the center, so we get the ball V equals to um, equals to exponential uh, I pi on three times um, so A A is um, the the thing that you apply to so the ball V. Uh, nope. What did I miss? D is the center. So it's V. Double V minus minus uh, D that is V. Okay, so we get this. I transform it. Oops. Uh, I transform it minus j squared and we get this expression below and just by using that uh, you get this result okay so I'm not sure I explained it well but uh, I'm sorry basically you do that and you develop uh, using the same method as I used before uh, hold on Hold on, hold on. You do like uh, this, and you develop. It's not, it's not that hard. Um, and then you, you do this calculus, and you should aim for this. So basically, what it means is that um, if you have three points represented by uh, complex numbers, if they verify this, it's an equilateral and direct triangle. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's proved. So then I'm going to talk about uh, triangles in general. So we forget about that. We forget about well, we just put it apart. So 
I call ABC a direct triangle, but nothing, no, pro, no special property. So like uh, on this picture, so ABC. Um, and I build P, Q, and R uh, to be direct and equilateral triangles uh, on each of the segments. I call U, depending on the variable uh, of the complex variable U, V of complex, variable complex V, and the ball V, uh, depending on the complex variable, the ball V, the centers of gravity of respectively each of the triangle, B, P, C, C, Q, A, R, B. So with the same reasoning as before, uh, we get that. It comes from the rotation. We get this. Um, it, it's, it's slightly transformed, but you, you get that pretty much easily. And then you sum them, and you get this get this by summing uh, them um, and you get that uh, you get this and you get x equals jx and the only possibility that is that uh, it equals to zero because it would mean that something is equal to the same times the rotation so the only possibility is that it's equal to zero so this is equal to zero so it means that this part equal to this part and this means this so a plus B plus C represents the the position of the center of gravity, and A plus V plus double V represents the center of gravity of uh, U V double V. So the triangle triangle U V double V have the same uh, center of gravity as uh, A B C. Um, yes. So that's it. So. So far, we've proven just that um, instead of LMN, it's uh, UV double V, but it's pretty much the same thing, it's just a pick I found on Wikipedia. So we've proved that the center of gravity is the same center of gravity as ABC. So LMN has the same center of gravity as ABC. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, this, yeah. Okay, so did I finish? Yeah. So now we're going to talk about the center of gravity of each triangles. So we've got this from the previous part. Oops, uh, sorry. <clears throat> we've got this from the previous part. Uh, you can express double V by just doing some manipulation. Um, you get this. Same for uh, U, you get this. Same for V, you get this. Um, and then you're going to sum this plus j times this plus j squared times this. You'll get this uh, this uh, fraction, and actually you have b minus uh, j to the third power of b uh, minus j c plus j c that equals to zero minus j squared a plus j squared a. But the thing is that j to the third power equals to exponential i um, 2 pi uh, divided by 3 but to the third power that equals to 1. So you get b minus b. So you get uh, that this equals to 0 which means that uh, uv double v is a direct equilateral triangle. So yeah, we've proven the theorem of Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the, the comments. I'll be glad to answer them and bye.